Hi, uh, today we're going to look at QuantLab and uh, all the different uh, tools and uh, uh, widgets and uh, settings that you can uh, work with. So this is the 101 on on how to creating your workspace and uh, where to find uh, different types of settings. Uh, so we'll start by opening a QuantLab. It's empty like this. Um, and uh, first of all, we can get out the so-called workspace browser. Obviously, it's empty on the start. Uh, if you have an old workspace, you use File and New. Um, and uh, here we can right-click on Workspace and show the library. If you have a developer version of the QuantLab, you get the library functions here. And you can watch some of the code in the library. And if you want to add your own library file, you right-click on the library, create a new QL library file and you add it somewhere in the library. Um, usually when creating a workspace you want to add an expression to the workspace you're working with and not to the library. So we can insert an expression and then you get a local coding window to work with. You can have multiple coding windows or just a single one. It, it's just up to uh, what you're doing. Um, then when you're coding, uh, you might want to see how your compiling is going or if you're having any runtime errors. Then we can view the messages uh, here at the bottom um, and you can move these windows around and detect. Um, and you have warnings, runtime errors. Here you can see uh, on initialization that some of the instruments were not initialized. And you have the compiler, and you get compiler warnings when, you, when you're coding. Uh, if you need help, you can have the function browser, view function browser. And here you can see the basic functions. You have math uh, and the help to that, and you have some matrix calculation functions, and you have more system related functions, uh, database tools to run queries, and so on and so forth. And if this is not working for you, then right click and check to see that you have the online help uh, uh, enabled, um, because then you're going to get uh, recent updates to the help function browser. Uh, we have also the real-time state. You want to run stuff in real-time. You have the different real-time sources. This is a, a setting that might be different on different for different users, depending on what kind of real-time. You can have Bloomberg or Reuters or, and the local source and, and the inter-QuantLab communication source and the simulated source. And you can see if they're up or down. And you can also see here down at the bottom if you have this, uh, if the real-time is up or not. Um, and then obviously when you're done coding you can insert either graphs or tables or the special instrument table. Uh, and you can also organize your uh, graphs and tables in tabs. So you can add tabs to the bottom, uh, uh, multiple tabs so you can create a workspace with uh, uh, some order. You can put code in one, and tables in one, and graphs in one, and change name in the in the workspace browser, like so. My tab. Okay, so that's a quick go through on the quant lab. Um, when getting to instruments, we're gonna you need to also use the database tool. So this is found as a separate exe that you run. Uh, from your desktop and in in here you can find all the instruments instrument classes and curves and we're going to have a separate session on how to create instruments and work with that uh, in a separate session okay that's all for now